Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist. I'm going to show you how to draw a retro style dad today. The retro dad, well, the retro dad is pretty much an established character, but there are many different ways to draw him, but he's an established type character in that he often wears glasses, big glasses, has a jaunty chin, and is not the most athletic dad in the whole world. This is sort of like the uh, general construction. Now, if you have a your own way to do it and doesn't fit this way and you like doing a retro dad a different way, do it your way. All my videos are suggestions. So here is uh, the nose. It'll come out a little like, uh, not pointed, but a little like a beak out over here. It's not the smallest nose in the world for retro dad. And you can give them, you know, big glasses and little eyes inside, or I've seen it with small glasses. I happen to like the medium size, sort of like this. Maybe it looks a little bigger than medium, but there it is. Thicken them in. Take a little size off that and try to keep them the same at the same level, both lenses, frames for the lenses. And what's fun about this is that the, uh, the arm of the frame will miss the ear. It won't even be resting on the ear. Somehow it like magically floats on the head, which is a funny thing. Now, on these cartoons, sometimes people will uh, draw the eyeballs, complete eyeballs inside. I think it looks better myself if you just use some dots and use the frames themselves to represent the eyes. Perplexed Dad, isn't he always? Very straight and angular. Make this a little bigger here and a little bigger here. Why don't, we, why don't we add a little bit of a uh, softer angle here? See how that works. Because we're going into a hard turn. Yeah, I think that works a little better. You always make adjustments. That's part of drawing is making adjustments. You see an opportunity, take out that eraser. Okay, now his generally has a full head of hair, or close to it. and a straight back of the head. And the reason for that is that it sort of translates, I mean, some things translate on a subliminal level. The very straight back of the head is sort of like true blue, earnest character, and that's what he is. He, he may not be a hero, but he is an earnest type of character. Important to erase this line. You don't want this going through the glasses. You don't see the other side of the head through the glasses. It kind of obscures it. So I'll erase some of the guidelines too. And of course, of course he wears a tie. So we will give him collar, but not define the tie too much. As a matter of fact, I think it's fun sometimes to make the knot of the tie and the strip of the tie disconnected. See, it gives us sort of a graphic look. A little shading here, a couple of striations one worry line, and you got it.